and that is a magazine that's available to members if they so want it. Question number 11, Jackie Dean. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Corrections. Order, asks... order, order, order. I've called Jackie Dean. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Corrections and asks, what recent reports has she received on the provision of education programmes in prison? Honourable Anne Tolley. Um, Mr Speaker, oh look, such more good news. I'm pleased to advise the House that there has been a huge increase in the number of education programmes in our prisons. Almost 3,000 prisoners, 3, prisoners scheduled to start a numeracy and literacy programme this financial year, which is an increase of 155 per cent since 2007-2008. There's also been a massive increase in the number of prisoners receiving qualifications, up from just 197 in 2008-09 to 1,833 in 2012-13. Mr Speaker, increasing the number of education programmes in prison is a key part of our plan to reduce reoffending by 25% by 2017 and will continue to focus in this area for that member as well as providing more drug and alcohol rehabilitation and skills training. Supplementary. Supplementary question. Jackie Dean. To the Minister. What role does education play in reducing reoffending? Honourable Anne Tolley. Uh, Mr Speaker, lack of a basic education is a major driver of crime. Most prisoners we find have difficulty reading and writing properly, and if this isn't addressed, prisoners will not only have difficulty finding work on release, they will find it harder to make full use of support and social services, and too often this leads them back to a life of crime. So that's why this government has introduced education screening and individual learning plans for all prisoners, so that corrections can accurately assess the level of support required. By increasing access to literacy and numeracy programmes, we give prisoners the skills they need to participate fully in other rehabilitation programmes and study towards qualifications. Question number 12, Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Justice.